Good morning, Camus. Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Tuesday morning, April 2nd, 2024. Hope you had a happy Easter. And it was Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday on Sunday. No other days, just Easter Sunday. So Walking with Jesus by David Jeremiah. So let's take a look at April. Do, 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 do. Second, the gift of God. This is entitled, and we're to read Colossians in the New Testament. Chapter 2, verse 13, a letter to the church in Colossae. Um, written by the Apostle Paul. So Colossians 2, verse 13. You can find that in the New Testament. Paul writes, And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, Jesus has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. So David Jeremiah writes, Years ago, a man in the cemetery business was also a lay evangelist. When speaking to crowds, he would humor them by saying he was in the underground condominium business, then transitioned to how there is no life in cemeteries. They are filled with the bodies of people from whom life has departed until the end of the age. <clears throat> Paul used the idea of death and bringing the dead back to life as an analogy of what it means to receive the gift of salvation. He said that all people, apart from Christ, are spiritually dead in their trespasses, their sins. But by a miracle of grace, meaning the love of God that we don't earn or deserve, we have been made alive together with Christ, having been forgiven of all our trespasses. Think what a gift of God spiritual life is. Can the dead bodies in a cemetery will themselves back to life? No, of course not. And neither can those who are spiritually dead give themselves new spiritual life. That's when Nicodemus asks um, Jesus, how do I inherit the kingdom of heaven? And he says, you have to be born again born again. He goes, how can I enter the womb again and be born again by my mother? No, nope, this is, you need to be born again into new life through faith in Christ. He gives you a new spiritual life. The um, Your sins have been forgiven through that faith, that grace that God gives you when you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So if you are in Christ, what they mean by in Christ means you've given your heart to Jesus. You've decided that, you know what, this way of living is not working. <laughs> I've tried it my way. I've tried it a number of other people's way, and it's not working. So I'm going to live for Jesus. I believe what you've done on the cross. I believe you died on the cross. You rose again on the third day, and that you'll give me new spiritual life when I give my heart to you, or something like that. It's an easy prayer. Just pray it. If you are in Christ, then, you have been given new life as a free gift of God. I just said that. Romans 6, 23, Ephesians 2, 8. Give Jesus thanks today for that gift. So we are to thank Jesus for the gift of grace and the gift of faith. I mean, it comes from God. We don't do anything to deserve it. We just receive the gift. We just take the gift, which the gift is salvation through faith in Christ. So, um... Yeah, Nicodemus was a Pharisee, and he was part of the Sanhedrin, which brought Jesus up on trial. Um, but he was not there when they condemned Jesus to to um, go before Pontius Pilate, condemned him of blasphemy and guilt, and because he had become a believer, he believed what Jesus had to say, and he went to Jesus before that boat, before Jesus was ever arrested. And he went to Jesus at night privately, and he said. I have heard what you said. How do I inherit eternal life? How do I enter the kingdom of God? And Jesus said, you only enter the kingdom of God through faith in the Messiah, which is him. You have to be born again. Um, the law that you're following is what God has given you, but the Messiah has come. Faith in Jesus um, enables you to uh, have eternal life, be a new spiritual person spiritually before you were dead spiritually now you're alive spiritually alive in Christ because he made us alive through faith that seems hard to understand but I hope it's not too hard anyway <laughs> um let's see does he have a prayer no all right let's pray for Tuesday Lord thank you for this day thank you for breath thank you for new life when we put our faith and trust and hope in you Jesus um and through you, we have seen the love, the compassion, the power, the glory of God. And so we thank you for the manifestation of our creator.
come to earth so we can know more about you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for prompting us and wooing us and calling us to that grace. That's a free gift. There's no strings attached. There's no tricks. It's just belief in you, Jesus. And we thank you for that gift of eternal life. And we thank you for new spiritual life. So um, for any of people out there that are listening, I just pray, Lord, that you will speak to their heart and they will pray to you and they will start a new spiritual life. If they are spiritually dead, they don't know you. And I know you will give them the grace and show them the way. In the name of Christ, amen. All right, have a good day.